Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test account and we're looking at the event that is going to be coming up on Global, which is the Lost Spire. So if you remember this one or if you're the first time to see it, um, the Lost Spire is one where instead of a, a tower that we climb, it is a descent through the Lost Spire. And this is built a little bit different. So I want to run through here. You'll see stage one gives you a thousand diamonds and you'll see floor one going two, three, four, five, 20, there's 17, 20, 25 floors, and here is a boss. So you can see at the end of 25 floors, there is a boss. Now, a lot of players do get stuck when you get a little bit further, but there's a lot of different ways to build out heroes, which I wanna go through today. But looking at how, kind of how this works, so these are the heroes that it's set for me. So again, if you are new to AFK Arena, these are the heroes that are going to be given to you and you're gonna have the option to build one of your heroes. And then as you can see here, you can spend some of your resources to unlock additional slots. Right now, this is gonna let me pick one of my hero. And you'll also notice that looking at the hero selection, they are not maxed out. They are not completely built. They are not, um, you know, the SI, you know, the the plus 30 signature item, the engraving, the furniture, nothing like that. So I'm going to confirm. We're going to put, well, look at my formation. So we got a tank. We have two tanks, which are very, very bad tanks. But again, based on the ability here, and I'm almost thinking that you can, I thought you could remove these. Maybe you can't remove the heroes, but let's go ahead and let's drop in. Let's go with the new Ruko. Now, when you have your heroes, you can see that now we have our secondary tank. We have um, Kelton in here, which I'm pretty happy about. But overall, we have Gwen in here. Gwen, of course, is going to buff Naruko. But as you can see, when you click into an actual hero, this is where you build the hero based on what you have for these resources, which I'm drawing a blank on the name of them right there. Um, the Lost Spire, uh, usable in Lost Spire to enhance our hero deployment and enhance the hero's ability. So you have two ways to build heroes in here. The one that I just showed you, if you're building out one specific hero, you can see the engraving skill right here. We do have the furniture. We do have um, the signature items. You can go through here and build your specific heroes, or you can go into this little rune part and build up specific runes. Now you can see the cost of these are exponentially. This is 180 of our Spire tokens. These are 360, but you can see when you look at what these are, reduces the amount of... Um, spire token spent by 10%. That's a pretty good reduction. Increases the tire, the spire tokens earned by 10%, which again is really big. So when you're going through here again, you can you can build these out and you can focus on heroes. Now, of course, looking at the rewards going all the way down to the boss at stage 25, you can see we have some pretty good rewards out of here. I like the rewards chest out of here. But going in floor to floor, we have these torches that are right here on the bottom. Every torch is a challenge floor. So when I go here, it shows we got 15 torches, but it also did yield me right here, 600 Spire tokens. Now we have the ability and you can see we have 15 torches, I believe before it gave us a lot less, but I, I think I'm days behind on this. That's the reason I believe you get three of these a day and then you can actually build them. So you don't get the resource. I believe the only thing you get on day one is just coming in here and getting um, actually getting three of your, your torches. I don't think you've got any spires, but we can go in here, we can build this up a little bit. And I'm gonna go for the earned right here off the bat. I'm also gonna go, I'm thinking for the reduction, but we can also build on Naruko because of course we grabbed Naruko in the very beginning. We know Naruko is very, very important to have Nadia built out a little bit, um, buffing up the attack rating. Adult Nadia also does a defense rating reduction. That's a pretty good one. And then of course in here, Fatal, if Nadia receives Fatal, it recovers health. And then of course the engraving. I'm gonna save the rest of this and see if we can get through a floor. Now again, we have 15. So similar to everything else, you want your takes up front, you want your damage and your support. And I'm almost thinking um, running Anoki, but I am gonna put Skarath in this one. Let's see what we can do in here. Now, of course, with Nadia in here, um, Naruko is pretty broken overall as a buffer, as a healer, shielder, um, as a damage dealer. And Nadia is a nightmare to deal with when it comes to the build of all this. And then, of course, Lucius can shield um, Nadia and also Gwen can buff Nadia. So pretty cool there. So there we go. So the first floor is cleared. We got 60 of those. You want to go floor to floor as far as you can go. When you start going through here, because if you lose a floor, if there is a defeat, you actually don't lose your torch in there, which is good. You can see right here, we have everyone together with Kelton. So we are gonna push as far as possible, but I wanna make sure, so we're at 201 right there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and reduce, uh, we, we can save that right now. So we're getting a bonus. So if you remember, we did buy this one out very early because it gives you an early bonus and that means for the rest of this event in its entirety, you're gonna be making progression at a much faster pace, honestly, because when you go in here and you're building these out and you're scoring and getting higher in these levels, you're gonna be getting a lot more of your Spire tokens with more Spire tokens, even if you do the resets, which I'll show you guys in just a minute, it makes it incredibly easy to go through here. Now, of course, you can buff up all the attack, you can buff up everything else, you can add new heroes in here. It's not super, super difficult to get through here if you have a couple of heroes that are pretty well built out. Sometimes what I've noticed is players will have issues with the enemy team healing. You can see that now they have plus 20 signature items. The enemy team is getting a lot stronger, which means some of the heroes we might have to build out. Now, also remember, when it comes to heroes like Naruko, when it comes to heroes like Kelton, um, the newer heroes have a much, much higher power creep, meaning they are going to be able to do incredibly well when they're going in here and making progression. I wanna see where we're gonna get a point to actually get a defeat, because you'll notice up top, there are buffs, there are debuffs, there are a few different things in here. But again, looking at Nadia with Naruko, it's kind of broken in here. It has always been broken since the hero came out, since we've been running the Lost Spire, even kind of getting through the shield because remember Nadia with the Venom has a very, very big defense reduction, which makes a big difference. So right there's floor six already. Stay alert, as she told us right there. We can open some more slots. We can build up some other heroes, which I might build up Kelton a little bit more. Because again, they're pulling them all together with our Doc Ock which is cool. I, I really do like Kelton. Kelton does well, and I know Kelton's being used quite a few places. So let's hop into the heroes. Let's build Kelton out. And I know on here, we do not have Kelton at all. Maximum strikes go up to 12. Let's go with the plus 30. And I don't think, no, we can't do 40s out here. We don't even have the ability to do the plus 40s. But before we did this again, we could have hopped in here, um, bought this one, just making it cheaper, which we 100% should have. We're going in here, boom, we're gonna make this a little bit cheaper. And there we go, so we have a 30960 kind of built out right there. We could unlock another slot if we wanted to to drop a hero in here, which we could do Grez, we could do Mishko, we could do a few different heroes. Scarlet is really good for the damage, but so is Rem. Both of them do incredibly well. We have instant crowd control. But of course, when we get a new hero, uh, which it looks like we can't use this hero, um, I think it might've expired for the borrow. But be careful of that because when we can use the hero, we have the ability to, um, we still have to build the hero up. Just like we've seen with Naruko, we still do have to build that hero up quite a bit. So make sure that you're not over purchasing or over committing for what you have in here versus building another hero out or not having enough resources to build another hero out. Let's see if we can do another four. So Kelton's a little bit higher, Naruko's higher. Boom, they're gonna pull them all in and the frenzied strikes are gonna work their magic. Now, of course, if you go through here, once we hit the point of the wall where we cannot make any more progression at all, you can back up one floor, you can quick battle. Quick battle is going to farm our spire tokens in there, getting 144, which again, gives us the ability to go in here and level these up. We can level them up. And of course, right here, we have health, we have attack, we have um, energy recovery, and then we do have haste. Haste works incredibly well. I do like, again, stacking haste, stacking something like that. Does work incredibly well, which I think Kelton we might've built out all the way. So 60, 309, 60, which is good. Naruko, we can throw some engraving on here. Same with Gwen, we can do some engraving, but I wanna max out the signature item, the plus 30 in here. Healing restrictions with the connecting branches. So pretty good, should be able to go in here. And again, if you can't go through a floor, you can always just backpedal one single floor and then move forward from there. It does make it incredibly easy to get through the content. And when you're handed a hero like Kalthin or Naruko, it works well. They do work very, very well, as you can see, burning through a lot of this content and getting through here. So all right, guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. That is the Lost Spire again. Every single day, we're getting three of those torches so we can make more progression. And it should be up, I believe, on Global in a day or two. Might even be today, but I think we're pretty pretty close. So again, we can quick battle. We can use one more of these, 168. Gonna give us the ability to power up some more of these runes, get some more haste, get some more attack, get everything that we need in there. 
to really buff up and look at that recovery rate is by 16 now if you go to level five there is a bonus the ally hero who has dealt the most damage recovers 10 or 100 energy every 15 seconds you can buff these up very very high again making it a lot easier to get through here because now we know energy regeneration is going to go crazy down here with what we just picked up meaning a lot more ultimate abilities in here and there we go the dia and kelton just absolutely truck through here making a ton of progression but again guys looking at the rewards in here you can just pick them all up boom thousand diamonds we got some stargazer scrolls got everything we need to out of lost fire but all right guys so that is going to do it for today's video let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching